Okay. So I'm Albert Esser, I'm with Dell, I'm the uh, VP Power and Infrastructure Solutions and uh, my responsibility is uh, really threefold. One is we have a product line for infrastructure products, PDUs, UPS, KVMs, RACs and that sort of thing uh, where we help our customers to get the most efficient infrastructure for the most productive data center. Um, second responsibility is we have a group of data center architects where we uh, uh, make sure that we understand the entire ecosystem of a data center from electrons in to useful IT workout and where are the opportunities, where are the inefficiencies and where, where can we have really customers to get more out of their uh, existing and future hardware. And lastly, I'm uh, kind of the uh, uh, steward or uh, good conscientious of Dell on building always the best performance per watt equipment and work with the uh, product group and also with the service organization on offerings like data center optimization services or our new blades and uh, servers which are coming out right now. Uh, on uh, our panel this afternoon we talked a lot about different places where you can optimize uh, uh, the data center. Why don't you share some of your thoughts on the most promising uh, avenues for people to improve their energy efficiency? Yeah, so in today's world we are still looking at the data center as a facility uh, which hosts uh, detached IT equipment and there is no sense of productivity. So if you look at the entire chain of uh, you know, where your value is really created in IT, uh, the first piece is the physical infrastructure, PDU, UPS, air conditioning and so on. Um, in our assessment, uh, you know, doing state of the art and the best of class today versus what you would have had 10 years ago, there's about a 40% improvement on a facility level uh, to be gained. Uh, however, if you look at the inefficiencies we have uh, going in our IT equipment, uh, a lot of servers are running single digit utilized. In 2002, it started maybe 12% and then it went backwards because the applications which we have, uh, they are just not able to keep track with all the advancements uh, we have in our uh, physical platforms. You know, a lot of applications can use the multi-core advantages, uh, they can use all of the, uh, the big memory and the big storage we attach and these kind of things. So we went backwards and our model shows that today's average server is maybe 5% utilized and it will go to 3 if you don't do anything. So if you want to focus on something to improve your data center productivity and your overall greenness, it's basically getting your IT done with much higher utilized IT equipment and therefore with less of it. You know, if you have less IT equipment, more utilized servers, they will consume aggregately less power. 80-20 rule, you know, 20% of your resources do 80% of your work, but well, that's true in data centers too. You know, we find that about a quarter of your servers do 80% of your work, which are already underutilized. If you find the last 20% of work somehow to get on the uh, uh, first quarter of the servers, you can turn off three quarters of your data center. I mean, that's you know, humongous compared to what you can do on the uh, facility side. And also, it doesn't involve blow torches, wrenches, and screwdrivers, you know, people which you know, might not be familiar with the needs of an IT equipment. It is really the system administrators which can do that. But what it really requires is that all three constituencies in your data center work together. The first one closest to the power is the facility personnel which keeps them cool and powered. They have the least really to do with what's going on with the utilization. The second is the IT service, internal service organization which keeps those servers up and running, patched and uh, operational. And the third, uh, third <coughs> excuse me, uh, contingency is uh, the application owners in the business units. And they are basically the ones which determine the most on how much power you consume. They decide if you want to virtualize or not. They decide on how heavily you used and utilized your servers are. So if you want to get to a best utilized data center productivity which you really need to, to be green, you've got to be able to, to get all of these three constituencies work together and the rewards are humongous. We have seen savings of 270% and more on power and cooling by doing it the way it is and uh, some cu customers report even higher savings. How, uh, what kind of progress were we making on having those, those different teams, those different uh, uh, folks working together in, in the data center? It's been a historic problem it seems. We, we talk about it at a lot of conferences. Yes. Is, uh, is there progress? 
Yes. So, uh, what I think is uh, is a uh, is a real advantage, uh, and I apologize. This might sound really harsh, but it's the uh, the economic crisis. Uh, the way we have done data centers and operating IT in the past, uh, you know, it was uh, cost. You know was always a secondary thought. I mean, there was always, you know, cost productivity challenges, but at the end of the day, it, it was something which always got, you know, somehow justified. Uh, in today's world, you know, you don't have capital anymore to build new data centers, and you have to really watch out for your OPEX efficiencies and OPEX uh, spending as well. So all of a sudden, green IT and building these alliances across your functions become uh, actually essential for survival of your company. You know, you cannot afford any longer to just ignore this and uh, do what's right uh, in the uh, assessment of each of these silos. You have to find common ground and a uh, holistic view of these things. And when we walk into customers with our data center optimization services, we see <coughs> that this is more and more accepted and that, you know, even if it is a little bit tough, you know, it, it, I, you know, it's, it's really interesting, it's, uh, as harsh as it sounds, it always seems to be easier to build a new data center than to change IT policies. And I think in the environment we're in today, uh, you know, the IT uh, policies like, you know, do we want to have a physical server or do we go virtualized? Do we go with refresh rates or do we buy exponentially more servers? Uh, do we virtualize uh, storage and run them on a fabric which we can afford like iSCSI or don't we do? These kind of questions are now getting real prime time attention and they are really helping uh, companies uh, not only to survive but to strive to position them to be the best performing companies in their industry and you know green is not really an, an, an problem or a costly proposition anymore, it is an enabler and if you choose not to be green, you know you just can't afford it.